what's going on. It's been a little bit since I did a video on the lawn, so I'm gonna do a little bit of video, tell you how we got here, and let's check it out a little bit. That is it as of today, July the 30th. Yes, those are stripes that you are looking at. It is possible to stripe Bermuda. So I didn't know whether or not I wanted to try to create my own striper or uh, just buy one. So I just went on ahead and bought one. That's the uh, lawn striper by Checkmate. And also, if you look, check it out. I am on the fifth notch. Which makes, which puts my Bermuda at about 2.5 inches. So, I know everybody's gonna bash me for saying this, but Bermuda can look nice not short so let's go out here and check it out a little bit as you can see it's pretty thick of course if you look down in there you see the brown you see the uh well, you can't really see the ground too much because it's so thick but how i got here so about um early April I did a scalp scalped it down to about an inch which I think next year I'm probably gonna scalp it down all the way down to the dirt because when it started to grow in it had to be at least an inch tall for to be able to see the green so next year I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, scalp it down to the dirt see how that works out for it but so most of the most of the uh, spring, I was cutting it about one and a, about one and a fourth inches, and I kept it there most of the spring until it thickened up. So steadily as the year went on, I just raised it up just just a little bit. Over the course of time, I would raise it up um, a notch on the lawnmower and let it thicken up at that height and just do the same. So by the time that summer got here, I was at, yeah, I was at about one, one and three fourths then. So I actually did raise it up to about two inches at the very start of June. And as you can see, no, no lawn's perfect. Anybody tells you got, they got a perfect lawn, they're lying. So that's chickweed, it comes back every year, no matter if I put down pre-emergent or not. And it usually comes back in about this area too, so I think what I'm gonna do is um, put down a lot more pre-emergent pre in the spring than I have been. So I did a spring treatment on it, but I did not do a summer uh, treatment of pre-emergent. I just wanted to see how it, if, I'd have even more weeds during the uh, summer if I didn't do a uh, summer pre-emergent. So it looks like about the only thing extra that's come up is, I think this is spurge. I think that's what this is. I'm pretty sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, right now it's at about 2.5 inches. So I'm not gonna raise it up anymore. I don't want it any higher than that. But I did those two things, um, raised it up this high, and also I did not do a summer pre-emergent just to see, you know, what weeds would grow in, if it would still be thick during the summer or not. So we've just come off of a uh, heat wave. I think we went, gosh, probably about a month and a week or so without any rain. But uh, the last few days, it's it's done quite a bit of rain and probably got maybe an inch, somewhere about an inch and a half of rain over the last few days. It was still thick and healthy before the rain came in. 
I'll put up a picture right here uh, that'll show you how it looked before any of this, uh, any of the rain started during the heat wave. And basically, I just kept doing the same thing that I was doing at first um, an inch of water a week. Once it started getting hotter, I spread that inch of water over a couple of uh, waterings during the week. I would water it on Monday morning and Thursday morning. You usually get out here about 5.30 and uh, manually hit the dry spots with water and just let the sprinkler uh, do the rest of it. As far as fertilizers go, I use uh, PGF Complete. I'm not telling you what fertilizer to use, just telling you what fertilizer I use. So I use uh, PGF Complete. I also use Liquid Lawn. And this year, I actually put down some uh, liquid potash. On the uh, potash, the instructions say that I can put down between two ounces to six ounces per thousand square feet. So I went, I went on the low end of the spectrum because I'd never used it before, so I didn't know what effect it would have. So I did about two ounces per thousand square feet. So like I say, right now it's, it's at uh, two and a half inches. It's extremely thick, but I didn't start out at two and a half inches like I was saying a little earlier. I started out at about one and a, one and a quarter and let it thicken up there, raise it up to one and a half, let it thicken up there, raise it up to one and three quarters, let it thicken up there. I mean, it, it looks pretty good. I know with Bermuda you're supposed to keep it under an inch or around an inch, but I ain't trying to be out here every couple of days mowing because life happens and I ain't trying to spend that much time out here. I do mow twice a week though. That's the one thing that you can do. The more you mow Bermuda, the more it thickens up. Pretty simple concept. If you're hitting it with nitrogen and you're mowing it often, it's not gonna be able to take that energy from the nitrogen and grow vertically so it'll grow laterally so that's what I've been doing I mow uh, like I said I mow twice a week and I'm usually cutting off eh, about a no more than one-third of the blade so it's it's normally green after I mow which is one thing that a lot of people do get wrong with Bermuda, they only cut it once a week, so they're usually cutting off more than a third, so they cut off the top part of the plant that is green and expose the brown part. But anyway, back on the uh, products, I uh, said I use the um, liquid lawn I use uh, some potash. I also use humic acid. Um, I think it's uh, the humic acid that's made by Simple Lawn Solutions. It's a uh, it's a liquid. I have a uh, four gallon backpack sprayer. So usually I'll come out and spray it maybe once a month, right before I water, and then I water in that humic acid. But anyway, it looks like we're approaching about the 10 minute mark on a video, which is a lot more than I usually want to talk. So anyway, if you got any questions, just let me know. I'm out.